morning everybody. Good morning grandma, good morning grandpa. I just found a stranded Australian. Good see you, good yeah. to see you. I'm not gonna kiss him though. Cody just arrived at KIX, we're at Kansai Airport. He's got a Trek box just like me, but his took a little bit more of a beating than mine did. Oh man. So Cody just arrived, he's from Australia. He rode with me in the bike tour in America. I'm gonna put his YouTube channel all over his face and his Instagram all over his face so you can see that. There will also be a link in the description. Check out bike tour from Australian's point of view or an American's point of view to follow along. All right, we're taking the train. We got our platform tickets. We're gonna go to the train. We're going to Mikunigalka station to get to Emmy's house in Sakai. So from what I've read on the internet, you're not supposed to bring the bikes in a box on a train. That's why I took the ferry, but we're gonna try to do it and play the foreigner card. Oh, uh, we might have taken the wrong platform. But it fits so nicely. So we're here, we're going here. Whoosh. Feel the culture shock? I do. <laughs> Head to tired. Hungry, tired. But he's in Japan. We're in Japan, like this is crazy. The, the way this even started, I was just like, yo, you wanna ride in Japan? I just messaged him on Facebook and he's like, sure. I had no intention of, I'd, I've never actually thought about coming to Japan. I didn't, I had no intention of coming to Japan, but since I was here with Rachel, and I was like, okay, I might as well bring my bicycle, and I might as well invite Cody, because it's close to Australia. And now we're in Japan. <laughs> we have a 90 day visa. He's got 90 days, I got like 76 days. And we're gonna try to go as much as we can. I think that's the plan. Dude, you're in Japan. It's crazy. It's gonna be an amazing adventure, to say the least. All right, we are at our station. It's about a 40 minute train ride. jazzed up on coffee. I'm, I had such a good sleep last night that I'm like ready to go. I'm like excited for Cody, I'm excited for me. It's done, we are off the island and the bike is here, now we gotta put it together. And he brought me some peanut butter. This is a rare thing in Japan. They have peanut cream here, not peanut butter. Cody's long flight, he's gonna be hungry. I'm gonna get some snacks. There's a little kangaroo over there putting his bike together. To do with the box, the police officer helped us. Or they gave us a bag to rip up the box and put it in there. I don't think it's all gonna fit in that bag. It's done, only a little bit left, but the bag is full. Luckily, the police officer gave us another bag. The police officers gave us a bag, and then took the bag full of the box and put it inside. Thank you very much, Japan. Thank you very much, police officer. He actually found this frame at a pawn shop in Australia. We paid 220 for it. It was not just the frame, but it was the frame with like a garbage fork, garbage components, garbage handlebars. It was just like garbage, but the frame was what was beautiful. This is a surly long haul trucker. Knew these bikes are like 1200 bucks US. Stole the frame basically from the pawn shop for 220 bucks. 220 Australian dollars, which was like 180 bucks. Put new tires on it. I mailed him a fork from the States. This is a Novara fork that I actually found in Austin, Texas. While I was hanging out with Chris, the Bonafide Hustler found it there for 10 bucks, which was a steal of a deal for a touring fork. And he put these B bars on it for comfort. So this is his beautiful setup. He's got front panniers, rear panniers, and no sleep. Look how wobbly it is at the front. Oh! Bike is together. We're getting the very end of a beautiful Japanese sunset. Oh, the first, here's the first shot of him riding in Japan. Totally looks like an Australian. He's about to hit a pole. Can I get my bike out of here? I actually picked Cody up from the airport, so I parked my bike in here, and this is my bike. It was only 100 yen to park here. Yes. There's a free air pump here. I don't know how to use it, though. You put your bike, they handed me a little ticket, and then you pay 100 yen, and they hold your bike. They said up to 24 hours. There's a little guard station over there. All the bikes are in there. There's a ton of bikes in here. I think it's one day, 100 yen. I'm gonna try to get us back to where we're staying without a phone or GPS or a map. I'm pretty confident in my skills. It's about six kilometer ride, mostly on a straight road. Let's go. First ride in Japan with Cody, the kangaroo. Back at the house, but I did look at the map one time. Not gonna lie about that. <laughs> Fabulous dinner. We have uh, rice, which is gohan, 
and I think chicken, pork, no pork, pork.